Hello. Hello. The mad lad. I know. It's, uh... Like, what, what, what are we doing here, right? You know? What? Did... Are we, are we really doing this? Um... <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, I guess we are. Listen, um... The, the, what is claimed to be the last update for Terraria came out, and, um, and I've always wanted to do a little bit of a Terraria thing for the channel, so I wanna, what I wanna do is I wanna set expectations here, and also let you know what, what the plan is, right? Because Terraria is a fairly long game, and it can be even longer depending on how you play it. So, uh, for a series, you know, I want it to be entertaining, so I'm gonna have to make a few concessions. Um, the first thing is, this is a very vanilla experience. Uh, I haven't added any mods, I haven't done anything extra, I haven't, uh, you know, I haven't, in there's no funky seeds going on here, it's a, uh, classic mode, no master, um, you know, it's, it's a very by-the-book playthrough. Um, that's, that's the first and foremost thing. Getting really lucky with this copy here, I gotta say. Um, second thing is that, uh, there will be editing in this series. Yay! Um, this is to shortcut very time-consuming things like building very long bridges and digging very deep holes. Um, I will pretty much keep a lot of the, uh, discoveries in this series and try and keep a lot of my commentary and basically not comment when, I, when I'm sensing a tedious task. Okay? Um, the last and, uh, major concession here is I'm not guaranteeing a full series because I really need to know if this is something that people want. And rather than just like, you know, do a poll and all of that stuff, it's very tedious. Um, I think what I want to do is like 10 episodes ish, um, and kind of have a reserved, like in, in the, in the bag kind of average view rate that if I, you know, if the episodes are not really reaching that, then, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, we're just gonna end the series there. And I think that that's super fair, you know? Um, uh, I don't think that I should be necessarily expected to continue a series that no one wants to watch. And I don't think that you, the viewer, should be expected to watch something that you don't necessarily enjoy. So, those are my uh, terms. Um, pray that I do not alter them. Uh, but anyway, we're, we're just going to be a, having a pretty vanilla Terraria experience. And this was a very convenient copper ore uh, <laughs> basket that I found. You don't really need copper ore, but I mean, you know, we could just like make armor right away. So that's definitely something we could do. I forget how to play this game a little bit. There's, um, there's a lot of quality of life features in the latest A Labor of Love update, and um, I'm, I'm definitely going to take advantage of them. Um, few, definitely expect me to uh, not do a good job of certain things. Oh, do I need a hammer? I, I, that's the second time I've pressed the wrong button there. All right, well, um, you're going to have to deal with the fact that there's a platform down there, and I'm going to have to stop pressing the freaking map button when what I mean is the... Oh, my God. <laughs> it's all falling apart. It's uh, You may as well quit now. This uh, The series is canceled. Oh, all right, so I was kind of thinking, like, um, for my own sake and yours, kind of like a, just a little... little little verbal sign of when I'm planning on doing a, a cut. Well, this is not going to work, is it? Hold on. Oh, that's kind of worse in a way. Well, it's not terrible. This uh, Terraria, I mean, um, I, I'm going to expect that most people have seen Terraria. Um, know what it is, know what to expect in, for a series like this. Terraria is a pretty long game. There's, um, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's, it's basically a sandbox full of toys. What kind of genre can you put Terraria in? I think, um, these guys are just gonna follow me forever, huh? I feel like Terraria is mostly a Metroidvania. 
I'm just gonna die if that's okay with you guys. Just just go ahead and kill me so I don't have to deal deal with this. Okay, thanks. Cool. I'm gonna wait for them to go away before I respawn. I guess I don't have any say in this matter. It's been a while since I played Terraria. Um, we do have a really... Th I think this is a pretty rare... Um, tree... Oh my god, really? Was that a rare tree that I cut down and, and, uh, killed and get nothing from? Or was it just a normal tree, I'm wondering? I thought it was a jewel tree. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh my god. Alright. We're good. So, um, I am in a corruption world, not a crimson world. I think I prefer the corruption. Corruption is just a good old classic terraria. No funny business. Crimson is gross and weird. I've also had crimson a lot in the past. It's It's been, like, primarily my experience in um, terraria for, for a lot of terraria. And I don't like it. It's it's just weird and gross. Corruption is is fine, good enough for me. Uh, you know, I like a good old classic Terraria experience. Um, but yeah, I think that Terraria is mostly a Metroidvania. It kind of feels like that to me. Um, but there's other stuff involved as well. I think that um, mostly the the highlight of Terraria is that it's a big old sandbox. Um, full of toys. It's just like full to the brim with toys. And we're gonna die here, aren't we? Yeah. Alright, well, I didn't have very much money, so that's okay. Wow, we, we're kind of, uh, you know, screwed on both sides, aren't we? This is a, a seed, for sure. So, I guess what I'll start doing is, um, start building... Uh, what I usually do is I build a hotel to stuff all the, the NPCs in and I'm gonna build it out of wood it's gonna be very boring um, and then later I'm going to probably uh, move the important NPCs into their preferred habitual kind of house in in the correct biome this is so that I get fast travel I think it's a really good system I like it a lot um, but yeah for the prime for this time being I'm just gonna I'm gonna do my classic kind of strat here which is to make a, a little hotel so let me do a cut here and then uh, we'll see what kind of hotel we end up with All right, so this is, uh, this is, I think, as small as you can make a house or, yeah, a house for any NPC um, that is acceptable, uh, chair and table. I'm actually going to do, uh, I'll do, like, normal tables. Uh, I think you do need kind of both, but what is this lemon? Minor improvements to all stats when life gives you lemons. Five minute duration. Interesting. I'm wondering if you can actually make lemonade out of it. Probably. It's Terraria. You, uh, like I said, if you don't know Terraria, um, it's, I don't know, it really is a kitchen sink kind of game. It's got so much going on in it. Um, and it really is like a sandbox of toys. Uh, it's, it's, it's absurd how much stuff is in Terraria. Those who know Terraria know this pretty well, but, um, it's it's got like ridiculous amount of content and it's you know almost up there in terms of like a traditional roguelike in terms of like the amount of time and effort and content that's been added and and it really is a marvel like it, it's i i don't know it definitely deserves the love in my opinion 
Uh, I know that there are those who truly hate Terraria, and I'm not sure if I understand that, but I think it's probably mostly a interface problem. Um, Terraria, if you're not used to it, can feel, uh, ooh, uh, hello, hold on, oops, oh, we died, can feel, um, like, I don't know, like a traditional roguelike. It can feel like Caves of God sometimes, in that if you're not really super familiar with uh, how to play it, then it it's not gonna necessarily make things easy on you. But it deserves quite a lot of credit, in my opinion, because it does have a lot of quality of life features. You just have to spend a bit of time and get to know it. There's gonna be a lot of quality of life features that I probably don't even take advantage of because I just, you know, I'm, I'm used to playing a certain way. And, um, you know, as much as I do want to uh, play, play optimally, it's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a learn, in, um, learn in progress, that's not it. Uh, what's, what's the term? You know the term, work in progress, that's the one. It's gonna be a work in progress. Um, you know, I'm gonna make mistakes for sure. Um, but, uh, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna learn together, and I'm sure the people in the, in the comments, those who do actually care, um, are, are gonna hopefully help me out and, uh, tell, let me know about little tricks here and there. Um, generally, I've, I've had, I've had very good commenters who give me some pretty good advice when it comes to games I play, so... I am, I am looking forward to maybe finding out some, some interesting tri uh, tricks that I've never heard of. Um, I'm wondering, is there a ruler? I know there is a ruler, uh, an item ruler, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out... Uh, I guess I could just do this. I know this is, this is probably irking a lot of people right now. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, ten. So ten wide in total. So I'm just trying to figure out how, because I, what I'm going to do is have another room on the other side here. One, two, oh, there's a torch there. I didn't even know that. Hold on a second. Where, hmm. All right, get, this, uh, this nighttime has been going on for a while now, it feels like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so that's that's our business right there. We're gonna need to make another door. Let's make another door. Don't worry, this is all gonna make sense in, in a short second here. I forgot that they. I feel like they changed it so that you. Could only use the pickaxe to break down wood. They made it basically wood another block. Alright. And then we're gonna put a torch on the other side here. And that's pretty much it. And then we're going to I keep that's I keep doing that. I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm gonna it's I'm gonna have to train my brain not to do that. There. So, what you're looking at here is, like, the absolute worst hotel ever. And I like to make them really crappy. The reason I like to make them really crappy is because then they take a lot less resources to build. And that way I can build them a lot more efficiently. We're going to have this guy have a crafting table for now, but uh, eventually I will probably replace it with another... Um, table. I'm gonna move this gravestone. Actually, isn't it just shift or control? Yeah, it's control click to move something into your into your trash. Um, we're gonna be getting rid of a lot of gravestones probably in the in the uh, progress of this play playthrough. Um, now, I'm gonna need stone so that I can make a smelter. So. What I actually like to do here is um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a hole here. This is gonna be my mine shaft. I like to I like to build pretty efficiently, you know. And that way, you know, things work out for me. I'm gonna put some rope here, but I don't have any rope yet, so I'll have to worry about it later. I'm not gonna worry about my money 
I have some money, but I don't care. But I'm I'm basically just going to now hold on. Is there there's a um smart I'm trying to remember what button it is, but there's a smart way uh, um of crafting not crafting, sorry, of mining. I'm trying to remember interface. Let's see, controls, a lot of controls. Toggle journey powers, that's not it. Um, auto select, smart cursor, left control. There we go. And um, this is really good because then what we can do, I don't know, is that, that I guess I have it on. Yeah, I, okay, so I, I hold left shift to dig and then I can, um, I can, I can torch. I guess I could do it the other way around, right? Yeah, okay. So I can, I could dig with my pickaxe and then uh, place a torch every once in a while. As if it matters. I mean, right now, this uh, mine shaft is going to be a real um, death pit. And I should, I can use platforms. I could make it not a death pit, but it's just better if you use rope. Rope is like really really nice and in fact i think it's gotten an upgrade in uh this last update i keep saying last date i'm probably gonna say up last update for a little while longer because you know i don't know i'm, I'm almost in the morning period i feel like you know terraria has been with me for a lot of years and i've pretty much never had a bad time with terraria terraria has universally always been one of my favorite games and it's i don't know you know like the, the idea that it's finally over the ride is finally over um you can't i can't uh you know live with the weight or lack thereof of well you know no matter how things are going right now at least there's a terraria update supposedly in the future that'd be kind of cool you know see some more stuff it's always Terraria, always another Terraria update. You never know. Could be. And you never know, really, honestly, still. You could, you really just don't know. Could be there's a new Terraria update just around the corner. <laughs> That's false. Um, I kind of do hope that the devs uh, work on something new. I know they've talked uh, a lot about Terraria 2. You know, it's, it's the big hot button topic you know well terraria 2 what's that gonna look like i don't know like what could you possibly expect terraria 2 to look like there were there were rumblings of a, a another terraria game that a different studio was working on and it looked cool it had some promise for sure but i don't know i feel like you know what could what would you do to improve terraria i think everything that they would do they have done they've added so much to this game what could you possibly want you know different grappling physics i don't know so is that gold or is that cop this is copper this is more copper okay i need a, i do i do need more stone stone is going to be for making a smelter uh, and then i can make copper armor i guess i don't know what kind of like i don't know I, have, I was playing with the idea of making, maybe making this a bow run. I've never gone full bow. You know, you never go full bow. Because, you know, once you do. Um, I've got a couple of tricks that I like to employ when it comes to digging down. I'm, I know this is like, I'm probably going to cut this out, but I, wanna, I do want to go through some of the stuff that I like to do in a Terraria playthrough. And one of those is in fact how I settle or uh, deal with this circumstance. Actually, what I need is to not press the freaking uh, map button. I'm gonna get some air. And then this is probably not gonna surprise anyone here, but I'm gonna wall up above. And then when I dig down, or it's gonna create an air pocket. And also, this kind of um, solves this, the problem of this being like a death tunnel, because now there's water at the bottom, and if there's water at the bottom, we can't die. 
kind of like, uh, you know, Half-Life in that respect. Hey, we got some rubies. I appreciate, I appreciate the rubies. I don't know what kind of, do I want to make a lightsaber? Yes, there are lightsabers in this game. What color do I want to make my lightsaber? I feel like, um, the only people who are going to be really interested in seeing a Terraria playthrough for me are, are people, honestly, the real fans of, not, not necessarily Terraria, but of me. Because, like, you know, if you like Terraria, you probably just want to play Terraria, you know? Oh, we got lead. I, don't know if, I feel like I haven't seen lead in a playthrough in a long time. You don't actually have the, um, y you don't get every single ore necessarily or guaranteed. So what is this? Oh, that's, a, that's gold. Okay. Um, you're not guaranteed to get every single type of ore in the, in the game. You will get different types depending on the playthrough. We got some gold. This is good. And we got some more lead. I feel like um, lead takes the uh, place of silver. If you have lead, then you won't, you don't have silver. Probably should and can do another cut pretty soon, but I don't know. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Let me know in the comments if you're having fun. Um, I've, I've played a lot of Terraria with a lot of friends, and uh, I, I don't think it's the kind of game you have to play with friends. I might, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about that. Like, I'm sure for some people it is, like, 100% guaranteed to, you're, you're not going to play Terraria unless you're playing with your, your group. And, uh, that's fair. Uh, but I've had a good time with Terraria on my own. I've had some, some, I've both gained and lost friends uh, in, in the dev time of Terraria. Those are mud blocks, so we're gonna need those for something else, actually. Let me get that last lead ore. Yeah, we're gonna need mud for, um, for farming. Um, I am gonna make use of farming. I'm gonna make use of a lot of the mechanics in this game. But I think I am going to do another little uh, jump cut here. And actually, when I said jump or cut later, or earlier, sorry, <laughs> my brain, um, what I really meant is I, I'm probably going to do a time lapse. I think that would be fun. Let me know what you prefer, honestly, in the chat. I'm dying, Squirtle. Uh, my sword is so short that I can't actually, like, Okay, well, it's, it's working now. What is this? Tungsten. What is tungsten? I really want you to die. Okay, there we go. We got, we got tungsten. I'm not sure what, uh, what tier of ore this is necessarily. But I am going to grab it. I'm probably going to grab everything I see for a little while. What was that? just heard something kind of scary on the left side there. Is this copper? Whoa. That sounded like thunder. Kind of wild. I'm trying to match up with my, my pit here. I think I have... Wow, okay, so there's like actual like weather in this game now. Um, I do have a, a technique when it comes to mining underground. I am doing just like a straight channel underground. That's by design. Um, that's because I am uh, going to be probably making frequent trips to the underworld. Um, so it's good to just have a straight line pit that goes straight to the underworld. Wow, there's a lot of thundering going on right now. Jeez, how, how long has Thunder been in this game? What is this? Ruby gem corn. Oh, I, oh, I have some rubies. Oh, nice. Right, I did get some rubies, didn't I? Um, what I want is glow sticks. 
dirt bomb. Small explosive that will spread dirt. Weird. Um, hmm. I did want some glow sticks, but I, it seems like I, I can't craft them. Okay, I'm gonna try and do my little thing here, but, um... Okay, I, I pro probably can't do it while blind. I'm, I, I, I am kind of doing it. Oh my god, I think I actually did it. Oh, look at that. It's almost perfect. It was almost perfect. Okay, hold on. I just need to straighten this up a bit. Because I, I am still trying to keep it in line. Um, the other thing, part of uh, this technique, is I'm um, trying to put... Was I putting my torch... I was trying to put my torches on the right side exclusively. And that was by design because I wanted to... Um, Put our rope on the left side. It, it does it, you know, it's not optimal to, to have your rope on the left side necessarily, but it's good to just like pick a side for your torches. And that way, um, you can just like place your rope all the way down. You don't have to like finick with it at all. Although, this is before the rope update, <laughs> basically. So, there might, there might be a bit of ropage going on that I don't know about. Remember, I've had so many discoveries in Terraria. It's one of the reasons I am so fond of it is that like, you know, even something as simple as like, oh, you can, oh, oh no, I don't like this. Okay, we're probably gonna die here. Yeah. Um, it's something as simple as like, oh, you can like, if you encase yourself in dirt underwater and then dig, you'll create like an air bubble. Um, yeah, it's like thunderstorming. Crazy. Um, was something I learned <laughs> in a really funny way, actually. Um, my, my friend f fell in an underwater, like, lake. It was just a really big body of water, and um, I he he for sure thought he was gonna die. He was just like, "That's it for me. There's no way I can get back up here." This is like he didn't have the flippers or anything like that. He didn't have the ability to swim, so he's just like falling down this giant chasm of water, and uh, he thought he was done. And then I. Uh, I had I, I had the mining helmet because I was able to afford it. We can only buy the one mining helmet though, um, and you know uh, also like so imagine he didn't he didn't have the mining helmet and he had no way to swim so he's just kind of like sinking you know more and more on into the into the water and then. He sees this glow, like, descending from above, and it's me. Like, don't worry, buddy. We're gonna get through this together. Because I jumped in the lake to, to save him. And, uh, <laughs> he's like, I can't... And that's, a. Uh, so we're both, we both hit the bottom of the lake. And, uh, you know, we're both basically drowning. And we're like, what do we do? You know, panic. Um... And that's when I, I thought to encase ourselves in dirt, and then we dug, and uh, that's how we, we came up with that system of surviving underwater. And it's not necessarily novel, you know, it's not necessarily, uh, like, I'm sure other people have come to that conclusion, it's an easy one. But just the fact that we came up with it on the spot while we're both drowning and you know, I came and saved my buddy. It was a real, it was a real moment, you know? I might have to turn the ambient sound down. Because this is a lot. Turn it 
turn it down a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna make copper bars and tungsten. We don't have a lot of tungsten and some gold. We don't have a lot of gold either. Uh, we have enough for goggles. I guess I could make a pair of goggles. I'm not sure. Is that an accessory or helmet? Equipable. Yeah, it seems. So one of the new features in the latest update is loadouts, which I'm really excited about because it means I could maybe try some different loadouts. Um, we're gonna want to make an anvil. So this is it's good that we've already got some of this stuff. Can we not put that there? Uh, hmm. Okay. What we'll do is, I think I can maybe put it on, on, on platforms. Yeah. Okay. And we'll, we're in range, so we can, we should be able to make um, some armor now. And not seeing anything. Oh no, we're not in range. That's a bummer. All right, let me try and fix this. All right, well that kind of sucks, but it works. We'll do that then. See what kind of armor we can make. Um, nothing too cool. Great allows only liquids through. They're great. There you go. Gold crown, vanity item. Yeah, that's nice. Um. Minecart. Probably want to make a chest. I should be able to reach it from there so we can now start to store things like clay and uh, dirt and stuff. Although dirt is actually pretty helpful. Um, I might want to start working on the farm actually. Like already. Ooh, we have we have some rope. And I did, I was placing the torches on the left side. So here you go. This is how this works. And yeah, look at that. It, uh, rope goes through platforms now. It's really nice. Um, and we'll place, we'll ju I'm just going to throw a bunch of stuff in there. And then we can like uh, quick stack stuff later. I want to throw away gel, obviously. And actually we need that wood back. Let's, uh, let's see what this lemon is good for. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Um, yummy, yummy fruit salad. Fruit juice. Minor improvement sauce that's with 5% real fruit juice. Uh, minor improvement sauce stats. Make lemonade. Okay. Cute that uh, there is lemons in this game now. We'll put acorns in there. Maybe we can grow some acorns later. Or, uh, sorry, trees. Alright, so, you know, you can see maybe why ropes are nice. Um, we're unfortunately going to lose this water here. And the torches below, but that's okay. I think I kind of messed up the torches. Oh, we got our first sandworm. Ouch. Okay, did a real drive-by looting. I, I am so lost right now. All right, so what's, what's down here? Ooh, what's down here is death, kinda. I should be able to fall that far. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put our, our um, mineshaft on pause for a moment and see if maybe I can get some goodies because I am in need of some goodies. Is that amethyst? That is amethyst. I guess I will pick up statues. Oh, I almost died. <laughs> oh my god. That was, uh, that was pretty good. We got, a, we got ourselves a, a mushroom biome. 
is good because we can get ourselves some glow glow shrooms. Hopefully, although now that I see just how far underwater we are, I might. I don't know. I don't know if, how good I feel about this right now. All right, this is a this is actually why I wanted the um, the the mud because that way we can grow. I can grow uh, glow shrooms. Glow shrooms are really good. They're useful for um, making good, good what? What am I saying? Good healing potions. So we're gonna, we're definitely gonna want some of this, of the, these glow shroom seeds. Oh, there's some, uh, there's a he healing over there, or extra health. Mushroom biome can get kind of spicy in certain parts of the game. For where I'm at, uh, it's it's actually very spicy. Get back, back vile crab thing. Wow, we do like no damage. I don't know what that thing is. What was that thing? Oh no. Okay. Get the get the heart. No. Well. Okay. We got the we got the heart. I also lost the gold. <laughs> Oops. Ugh. Okay. No. Oh, and I have a. I have a slingshot already. Didn't realize that, actually. So we already have a gold. Let's do our quick stack to nearby chests. That, so that is a new animation. Um, shows you that what, like where your items went, which I think is a really, really nice feature. Um, the slinger is a really, I think it's a great like first uh, grappling hook. So um, I'm actually really happy about getting that so early and we've got some more rope I'm pretty sure we can shove the merchant in here yeah he's actually already in there what do you have forest pylon you can only yeah, this is the the first pylon I guess you can only place one per type and in the matching biome you also sell rope and you do sell the mining helmet so let's use this uh, life crystal and I'm probably gonna wrap up the first episode pretty soon. Um, so I could maybe buy the mining helmet. You can get a free mining helmet. It, it is doable, but uh, I don't really have the means right now. We're gonna, I'm just gonna do a little bit of inventory management and try and make up enough money to, um, to buy the mining helmet. And that'll, that'll take care of a lot of problems. And I am gonna do that because money becomes kind of a non-issue later on you know what let's um grab the copper bars we'll see let's let me see what i want to make oh you know what we, have, we can make a tungsten broadsword that would be good let's make a actual weapon we'll get rid of this i'm just gonna throw it away and um i'm gonna make a chain mail and greaves and we'll pretty much we can sell the rest of the copper I don't necessarily know if there's anything else that, that the cop copper is good for, except for, I guess, like, you know, some of the end game gear requires, like, materials of every single type. No, actually, um, hmm. Amethyst staff. Oh, I regret selling this, the amethyst now. Not the fallen star. I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need a lot of those. I was uh, tempted to play on journey mode because it would cut a lot of time out of um you know needing to grind certain things but you know what they're just gonna happen and and this game the series is for me more than anything else so um i'm content doing a little bit of grinding oh, do we you know, i guess we could sell a couple of gold bars it's 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 worth it how much okay can we do okay we can sell just one then i'll get the the mining helmet but anyway that's gonna that's gonna do it for our first episode you know we we uh, accomplished a few things and uh hopefully i cut out enough that this episode is pretty pretty short and sets some good expectations um for what can what you can expect for this series you can i guess consider it a guide in a way because i have played this game enough i know kind of what i'm doing um, or if you just, you know, enjoy my content enough that you want to see me play through Terraria, then I really appreciate that. Um, and if you've got some helpful tips, definitely throw them in the comments.
comments. That would be cool. I'd appreciate that. Um, if you enjoyed this, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.